The LG V30 seems to hit all the pillars of a great smartphone. It's got a good screen, good performance, solid battery life, a wicked good camera, and a design that's functional, durable, and beautiful. It's also got an audio jack, because after paying 700 bucks for a smartphone, I better be able to charge my phone and listen to music at the same time. But is it really that good? Or is the spec sheet just missing something? I'm Angie for GSM Marina, and this is the LG V30 review. The V30 looks nothing short of gorgeous, especially in Moroccan blue. Gone are the sharp edges and bulk of predecessors, and despite being 158 grams to the G6's 165, it feels much lighter. Although the V30 refines the V-series style, it promises some drop durability and an IP68 rating. Although the phone can catch some fingerprints, they're not too noticeable, and while we're here, we've got to applaud LG's placement of the fingerprint reader. Dead center, where it's supposed to be when on the back. From the front, the V30 can be mistaken for the S8 Plus's shorter, thinner cousin. The V30's 6-inch OLED display looks and feels like Samsung's Infinity displays, but without the curved edges. Color-wise, it runs a little on the cool side, although you can choose different color regimes and settings. At max brightness, even direct sunlight won't be a problem. The phone also features an always-on display. The V30 has respectable battery life and lasts slightly longer than the G6. Sadly, battery capacity isn't infinite. The phone has a USB-C port and supports Quick Charge 3 for a quick top-up. Audio files, listen up. Not only does the phone have the holy headphone jack, but it supports hi-fi audio for optimizing sound on connected headsets and offers four EQ presets. Sadly, there's no custom equalizer options for now. The V30 also supports HD audio recording. The speakers sound good, but the bass is still a little lacking. The V30 runs Android Nougat 7.12, and there's an Android 8 update in the works. While you won't get stock Android, the phone is bursting at the seams with options. You can choose to go with an app drawer or without, add an extra icon to the home touch buttons, or pick an alternative theme. You can lower the phone's vibration or use the phone's smart doctor to optimize the phone. There's also smart settings that adjust automatically depending whether you're at work or not. Most notable is the floating bar, which replaces the secondary displays of the V10 and the V20. It allows access to your contacts, music, or other shortcuts. The cost of all this functionality is a bunch of pre-installed apps you can't delete. At least you can hide them. The chipset and the 4GB of RAM allows for multitasking and heavy app use without much slowdown, if any. If you're really a multimedia junkie, it also has expandable storage. The V30 is rocking a versatile dual-camera setup. There's one 16-megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization and autofocus. And there's a second 13-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera without OIS and autofocus. The photo quality isn't much different from the G6, which was great to begin with. There's slightly more detail and slightly less noise. Curiously, the ultra-wide-angle lens is slightly less wide than previous generations, maybe to reduce the fisheye effect. Low-light shots can get a little noisy, but they're well-balanced and offer a lot of detail. The camera app itself is versatile too. As you zoom in and out, it automatically switches cameras in order to capture the best image. There's a gallery film strip on the side, which I found especially useful for faster workflow. If you dig in further, there's a manual mode with a host of options and even new presets for getting a specific look. There's also a 360 degree panorama capability and a guide shot that uses pictures in your gallery to help you match compositions. The V30 allows for 4K video and the footage is even optically stabilized if you use the main camera. It's not the smoothest we've seen, but it'll level out hand vibrations. Footage has slightly more details and warmer tone than the LG G6, however, it's also slightly more noisy. With Cine Mode, there's a host of options for video creators. The LG Cine Log Mode records video with a flatter gamma curve so you have more room for color grading your videos to achieve a more cinematic look. You can also have the phone color grade your clips in real time using Cine effects without any video quality loss. Point zoom is another great option. You can pre-select a portion of the frame and zoom smoothly to that instead of the center. With a phone so full of awesome features, the mediocre selfie cam is surprisingly disappointing. Photos lack detail and colors are bland. At least the camera allows for wide-angle shots so you can fit friends or an awesome background in your shot. 
With the V30, LG has made a phone that has a little bit for everyone. It's debatable whether this phone has the best screen, the best camera, or even the best extra features. But it has a complete and awesome package of stuff that you will actually use in your day-to-day -day life. We're glad to say LG has nailed it with this one. Of course, if you want more details, check out our full test findings over at gsmarina.com. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe so you don't miss the next ones, and I'll see you next time.